Clean Harbor Surface Rentals offers on-site wastewater treatment plants, which are suitable for camps and well sites where the population is 250 people or fewer. Our treatment plants are regularly maintained with on-site servicing and effluent testing to ensure they meet stringent provincial environmental regulations. Clean Harbors can handle all regulatory obligations, including site permits, third-party site inspections, effluent quality monitoring, and regulatory reporting if requested. Using a seven-step process, this cutting-edge system transforms raw sewage into a clear, odorless effluent, which can be safely released into the environment. From the on-site accommodations, raw sewage is pumped into the primary settling tank, and air is introduced into the tank to promote the growth of bacteria and begin the bacterial treatment process. This initial stage effectively eliminates most odors from the wastewater. Gravity guides the sewage from this tank to the next. In the second settling tank, fats, oils, and grease separate and float to the top, creating a scum layer while solids sink to the bottom to create a sludge layer. Anaerobic bacteria serve to digest the wastewater and break down any unwanted waste particles. Again, gravity ushers the effluent from the settling tank into the flow equalization tank through an inlet screen, which catches any unwanted solids. This tank acts as a holding area and prevents any fluid imbalances in the system. Float switches within the tank control the operation of a progressive cavity pump, which ensures that a steady and even flow of waste moves through the system close to 24 hours a day. From here, effluent is pumped into the next tank. The denitrification tank helps control the pH level of the wastewater. Nitrogen in the form of ammonia is removed in this segment of the treatment process. Blowers are synchronized with a programmable logic computer to provide aeration and prevent solids from thickening on the floor. A submersible pump then transfers the effluent to the membrane chamber. While in the membrane chamber, the effluent is filtered through a series of individual membranes. The pore size of the membranes is fine enough that they catch suspended solids, bacteria, parasites, and most viruses. The leftover bugs create a miniature bioreactor in each membrane to digest any organic matter that enters. After undergoing this process, the effluent is of the highest quality and is discharged to the soil, where it is naturally filtered and returned to the environment.